Rise and shine, everybody. This is your boy, Scott, about nature, okay? And we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, okay? I want to send a special shout out to Miss Wanda as well as Kiki of Love and Mary Transville. As you guys already know, last night I did my big one last night. I did an interview with Miss Wanda, and Kiki came in and shut the game down, okay? Um, that interview was already over 11,000 viewers. I had like 1,600 views in the chat. Like, literally, I have never had no live that huge before ever in my days of being on YouTube. So shout out to everybody. Um, shout out to Erica De Niro for being in the chat. Shout out to TTV for being in the chat. Shout out to Jamie. That's me, Nisi. Um, uh, Terrence, Josiah. It was so many of my YouTube peers and friends that was in the chat supporting me make it make sense it was so many different people and i definitely appreciate all of the support that i've gotten from this um interview um storm monroe i already shared my interview um uh, uh, this channel called anonymous t i already covered my interview so this 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 was pretty big for the scotty by nature tv as well as the prelude um brand as well it was very it was very much so um a big moment for this platform so i want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching and if you haven't watched it you need to go and watch it because it was very good i did a i think i did a marvelous job i was very nervous before but i got through it and i did it you guys i did it so um so to but before we get into anything else um i just want to let you guys know that tomorrow night i'll be going live for um love and marriage huntsville okay um i'll be going live right after terrence so um just be on the lookout for that whenever terrence is done going live um we will definitely um be going live um also the um the influence will be saturday morning um i got uploaded um a little bit later so you guys can have it on time in the morning it and it will be featuring um uh ttv he'll be up there we'll be talking about whitney and mariah and also on sunday be on the lookout for who was wrong featuring Mims, okay? And we will be talking about the beef between Nene and Kenya, okay? Now, without any further ado, we're about to get into what we're here to talk about. Now, obviously, Ariane, aka Coleslaw, went live the other day and she said that she's not going live anymore. And apparently, she got um, a message for her so called fans. And um, YouTube bloggers like myself and the person that I got this live from, a.k.a. Jamie, that's me. What's up, girl? <laughs> What's going on? But, uh, yeah, she went live doing out talking that crazy shit that she always talk. And um, we're about to get into it. So let's listen to what she had to say. And then, you know, after that, I'm going to come through with my own commentary. So let's get into what Miss Coleslaw, mashed potato, potato wedge, had to say, you guys. Let's get into that. What's the main thing that's under misunderstood about me? And that's a good one, but we're not giving YouTubers no more content, y'all. So we not. I'm sorry. It, we on here talking shit about them. We we not even because that's somebody's video. That's my content, and they done blew it. So we mm, yeah, we don't we up off that. It's it's money making me. When am I dropping summer outfits? Soon. That, listen, that's moving forward. Eris Boutique, www.ishopairis.com is all you will hear from me. Y'all need to be worried about. Other than that, who I'm with, morning, noon, night, um, that's not your business no more. That's, that's not. Yeah, you'll never be able to, oh, they together, they ain't together, are they, are they not? Who cares, first of all? <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute we got we got an ad we got an ad hold on y'all it is never nothing to see over here i say one thing and they take it as it's over over between who mm. i had a very good day today y'all then i Check my little DMs, you know, the little side part where it's like request. And I done got so many messages, and I'm just like, hold on, hold on, hold on. It, it's not that I don't tell y'all nothing. Like, I have to be telling y'all something because the YouTubers, they have they making videos. And no, I don't own nobody else. Shit. Like, that's why this, like, Y'all think it's a game. Mark my word. Y'all think this shit a game. 
it's business. That's it, that's all. I'm not mean, but you don't be talking about nothing, girl. But you on here. And I'm not mean, but let me keep my comments to myself. Why do you keep the lives then? Bro, I don't keep no lives. Like, have you ever seen me post a live on my page? You have not. <laughs> like, what? They screen record like they screen record now. Bro, the tea party's still jumping. What are you talking about, Misty? <laughs> you was you was tripping, girl. Tea party's still jumping. What? That's the only beginning. That was only the beginning, and I let y'all get a little taste. Like, that's the only... Girl... Girl, you block Misty. And I don't only block you if you say something I don't agree with. I block you other reasons. Stop reading negative comments. I try not to, y'all, but I just read whatever. It's definitely okay to be misunderstood, and I am fine with that. Because why am I trying to explain myself to a whole bunch of dummies anyway? Slow. Y'all always tell me I'm slow. Y'all are the slow ones. You definitely have a fan base turn up on them. I try to open up to the people who fuck with me, but it's just like, it, it, it always seems to go left, y'all. It always seems to go left when I try to, I try to mind my business. Y'all try to move on. I try to tune it out. I try to not worry about what. I, Ariana can never mind her business. Y'all stay in my business. More, y'all know more about me than I knew about myself. Some stuff I read, I'd be like, What? How sway? How? Y'all, I know my potential. I really do know my potential. I really do know I'm that bitch. I do. I do. But sometimes, you know, it's just, you know, you know. This is not my new, re new reality until that show goes away. Because they, no, no. That's not sis. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Y'all have seen me go through, I feel like almost every single step, every single emotion, everything, almost like publicly or where y'all think y'all have or somebody that made up some shit where y'all think. But no, y'all. Oh, no. What are we talking about? We, we're, we're talking about these dumbass bloggers and how this will be my last time on live. That's what we're talking about. I wish a blogger would screen record this whole thing and put it on there. And say, ooh, everything got mad at us. Ooh, yeah. But we did, girl. But we did. And you were mad about it. See, that's the thing. You say you don't want to go live anymore. And you say you don't like the fact that bloggers be talking about your lives. But yet and still, you go live and you mention bloggers like myself. That's what you do. You want the fucking attention and you're going to keep on getting the attention. That's just what it is. If you don't want the attention, shut the fuck up. Some of some, I wish a blogger would scream record it. And what the fuck you going to do about it? That's what I'm trying to figure out, girl. What are you going to do about it? In the words of Miss Misha, moving forward. It's a wrap. Thank y'all. And see, I try to come on here and we talk about hair. We talk about breastfeeding. We talk about mommy tips. We talk about life. We talk about and everything always has to be brought back to the situation that y'all learned me from. Hell, me moving forward, y'all won't even let me move forward. Y'all won't. <laughs> like, y'all won't let me live. Thank anybody who ever gives me a compliment. Thank you. I try not to only read the negative comments, but thank y'all so much. Thank y'all for saying my hair is pretty. Thank y'all for saying I got good edges. Because, you know, one day somebody tell me I got good edges. The next day somebody saying they broke off. You see how people do me? Yeah, we up off live, y'all. We up off live. <laughs> we up off live. The devil definitely wants me stuck. When they go low, you go high. <laughs> My sister been saying that to me since Michelle Obama said that. Since she said that. And my friend. <laughs> and I be trying to, y'all. I was so I was high for so long. Y'all didn't even hear from me. I let them be on TV saying whatever. Y'all didn't even hear from me. I wasn't even. And see, some of y'all are giving me some real good advice on here. 
<laughs> oh, oh my God, I want to pin this comment, but oh my God, that's y'all gonna come for me so hard. But oh my God, it's so funny. I have to screenshot and send to my sister. Oh my God, some of y'all are so funny. I try to get on here and show y'all my personality. I try to talk to y'all. I try to see why to know me is to love me, but it's not. It's not giving that. It's not giving that, y'all. So we done with that. They go, low, I'm going to hell. So I feel you. Oh, my God. It was a point where I was on some BS. But now, and when I, my growth, y'all don't even see. Y'all don't even see my growth. Y'all don't even understand. Y'all don't even, like, like y'all like don't see it at all. Y'all don't. And that's scary because it's almost like that's like so many people just want drama and bullshit. What's the growth? Oh, the nerve of you. You can't block too. Y'all, it's not that I care about what others think or feel about me, but it just gets to a certain point in life when you are trying to elevate and you are trying to, you know, move forward, leave the past behind. Um, inspire other young girls who went through some dumb young shit when they were dumb and on some bullshit and you can't even because they stay trying to make it seem like it's this is like <sighs> the growth is not you airing people all the way out girl I don't give a fuck about these people understand that never did I'm the topic of conversation my name stays in everybody's mouth I don't give a two like, I promise you I don't, sweetheart. I promise you I don't. I want to say your name. Come over here. <laughs> Come over here. I'm not going to say your name loud, but come over here. You know exactly who I'm talking to. Another ad, y'all. Give it a second. <laughs> well, I'm far from dumb. I'm far from dumb. We all have probably played a part of bashing each other, but y'all have to understand I was not on the show to even partake in the bashing or the, the starting of it or none of that. I fought it up. Because <laughs> y'all kept talking shit two years in. And it's sad for other women. Where y'all at? Obsessed with Ariana. I've been a trend since 2015, y'all. I'm trying to create a new narrative, y'all. I'm trying. I I'm trying. How can I? I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Literally. I've always minded my business. I still mind my business. Y'all mind my business. My business. I don't care where y'all came from. Because y'all can dismiss yourselves. I beat to my own drum. I was that bitch before y'all knew me. It's still going to be after this shit blow over. It's been, what, four or five years now? Damn. Or is it really that fascinating? Like, I really need to go back and watch that first season, second season. First, I gotta go watch this shit because I need to understand why do y'all give, why do y'all care so much about Ariane? Like, why is it seven hundred people on here? Like, y'all, what, what, what was it? Because y'all seeing this and then y'all see something else. Is that what it is? It's just like, or you just cannot believe that this is the person that's like, what is it? I'm confused. I ruffle so many. I, I, I ruffle feathers minding my business, y'all. You think it'll blow over if I stop responding to them? Sweetheart, I didn't say shit for a long time. I barely knew what was going on. These people came and found me. So that didn't work. I thought that was going to work. It did not work. Then I said something and then it blew it up even more. <sighs> that did not work. <laughs> I tried that. But why are you acting? Okay. No victim. Did not put myself in the spotlight. I, I did not need to talk about another woman for a TV show. Are y'all stupid or slow or dumb or both? All of it. Like, what are y'all talking about? 
that shit could have went on without Ariane, without y'all. They could have just been talking about all of the several, not me. Are y'all slow? <laughs> if I was ugly, they wouldn't hate me so much. If I was ugly, oh my God, they, they would just, it would probably be worse. Y'all, this 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 the last live. This this is it, y'all. This is it. This is y'all. I'm sorry. I this it. I get, literally get on live like when I feel like it. Try to talk to y'all. This this it, y'all. This it. And y'all gonna be like, damn, she was serious. Serious as a heart attack. Like this it, y'all. This is it. Enjoy it. All seven hundred. Enjoy it. This it. I'm a, yeah, this is it, y'all. Girl, they was talking about me before I had a baby. Cut it out. Let's be clear. I would still be talking about had had a baby or not. Like, that's nothing. Girl, did nothing do more damage to me. Get off live. Get off. Like, if you don't like me, get off live. Like, what is wrong with y'all? Nothing ever does more damage to me. Like, stop. Like some of y'all are just It's billions of people in this world Billions Something that like My best friend in high school Her mom used to tell us Everybody not gonna like you And it's so crazy how You can literally remember something from your childhood That stuck And like how it I needed to hear that That's something obviously I needed Everybody is not going to like you. I had to get over that. I, when you're not known like that, like that, it's so easy to be a likable person or for you to make friends or whatever the case may be. But girl, everybody is not going to like you. Who cares? And so what? What's up? And now what? So, so what? Who cares? No more going live, y'all. I'm sorry. Like, we about to have our last little, what, 30 minute conversation. I don't know how long we've been alive, y'all. This will be it. When it cuts off, it cuts off. This is it, y'all. The way I talk to my daughter is crazy. Oh, my God. Y'all are nuts. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Y'all are nuts. Y'all are so crazy. One second, somebody telling me I'm a bad mom. The next mama telling me, oh, my God, you're a good mom. Like, Lord. Paris bedtime. Ben, y'all. She be when it's just me and her at home. We have like, um, mommy do this time where we spend like time together because it was us for just like nine years, just me and her before it became a little noxy. So I try to make sure I always spend time with Paris. And yeah, we enjoy watching movies together, like laying on the couch, eating popcorn. And yeah, that's my daughter. And it's a minute and 58 seconds left, y'all. This is it. This is it. Let me scroll to the bottom so we can say goodbye. Have a good night. Um, yeah. Yeah, y'all. It's a wrap. We it's a wrap after this. I will not be on live. No more chopping it up talking to y'all if I'm out or something like that. That's this that's it, y'all. We won't be going live anymore. Y'all will miss me. I'm going to miss some of y'all too. Yep. Airy, really. Mm hmm. Yep. I'm definitely going to miss some of y'all. Is there another platform we can communicate with you on? Paris, did you brush your teeth? Mm -hmm. Did you floss? Go floss. I'm, I'll put more than one in there. Don't you gotta be? You gotta hold still. I will. Okay, go floss. A R I. Wait, I changed my Snapchat name. We got 15 seconds left, y'all. It's been real. It's been real, real.
So that was like 16 minutes of nothing, pretty much. That was like 16 minutes of nothing. But um, this is what I got to say. This is what I got to say, period. My thing is, this girl always get on live and she always make a complete ass out of herself every time she goes live every time she goes live she makes a complete fool out of herself every time she goes live and i'm gonna just need her to stop because every 10 minutes every other month she says i'm done going live every other month she complains about the youtubers and all of this other stuff and getting mad at everybody else but the narrative that she put out there and my thing about this is girl shut the fuck up like you talking about I dare a blog, I dare a YouTuber to take this live and put it on their channel. Girl, it happened. So what? What are you gonna do about it? You know what I mean? Then on top of that, you talking about why I can't just mind my own business and why I can't do this and why I can't do that. Girl, you made yourself our business when you decided to come forth and proudly proclaim that you were Mar Martel's sideline hoe. You did that. No one asked for your presence. You put it out there, and you shouldn't have known. What you were going to get when you decided to put yourself out there like that. You did that. And you really don't have nobody else to blame but yourself, honestly. You really ain't got nobody but yourself to blame, really. Because when it comes down to shit like this, and when you're looking at a reality show that's really geared towards women, and mainly women watch that show, and it's about love and marriage as the title states, do you really think that they're going to root for someone like you? Let's keep it all the way trill here. And this ain't even me trying to shade you. This ain't even me trying to drag you like that. Let's just be all the way real and all the way 100 about the situation. What make you think that when you got a show about women and marriage and things of that nature and the, 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 the marriage is having issues and they, and they openly discuss it on the show and then you come out the window and you want to let everybody know that you were the one that was in bed with this man all that time. You think that's going to go over well with people? You think that you're going to walk around this bitch, you know, comfortably and safe and you're not going to come with no backlash? You're going to get the backlash. Not only are you going to back, get the backlash because you came out and self-proclaimed yourself to be the sideline chick, you're going to get backlash because you were unapologetic about it and you were arrogant about it. And you didn't give a fuck about it. And you taunted the woman about the situation. Now, mind you, I am no one's Melody fan. Everybody knows that I don't like Melody. Hell, one of, one of the Melody hoes just called me a goddamn, called me Kevin Samuels just yesterday. So clearly I'm not a Melody fan. But what I do, I call a spade a spade. And I keep it all the way real and all the way 100 about the situation. You were fucking wrong for, fucking wrong for what you did. And this doesn't take any heat off of Martel because he was the one that was married. So that doesn't take any heat off of him. But you came out and you decided that you're going to speak your piece and you're going to, you know, disrespect his wife in the public. And then you go and do interviews and then you go and do these interviews, having us thinking that you got so much to say and you ain't really said not a damn word. Wasting everybody time getting on these platforms talking about stuff when you're not talking about nothing. And I just think that that's ridiculous. I think that that's stupid. I think that you're stupid. And then you want to get mad at all of these bloggers and things of that nature. What you get mad about it for? That's my thing. What you mad at the YouTubers for? Because, bitch, don't you want to be a YouTuber yourself? <laughs> don't you want to be a youtuber yourself don't you got a youtube page of your own don't you don't you want to do what we do because that's what you said you said you want to do what we do girl like i'm trying to understand why you so upset at the youtubers because i'm not telling myself i'm not even gonna say that because i'm not gonna give these youtubers no money i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna do that and my thing about the situation is this right here you claim that you're not going to do it, and you claim you're not going to get nobody no money. But, girl, we making money regardless of whether you're here or not. <laughs> We're going to get paid regardless of if you're in the blogs or not, girl. We talk about everybody. You're not the only one we talking about. 
You're not the only side chick we talk about. You're not the only one that 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 do stupid shit. You're not the only one that needs to get read. You're not the only one that needs to be um put in a place. You ain't the only one, my love. Stop thinking that you're so damn um special. Stop thinking that um we need you for clicks and views because we really don't. Because I spent a lot of time not talking about you, but I know that people want me to talk about you, so I talk about you. Talking about you ain't worried and you don't care about what nobody say because you're the moment and your name is in everybody's mouth. If that was the case, you wouldn't be on live complaining about your name being in everybody's mouth since you all of that in a bag of ruffles. Let's be honest. You're insecure. You, you lack self-awareness. You don't know who you are. And you living through a relationship that was detrimental to your character and to your self-esteem and to your life. You, you keep on blaming the show for your life being where it's at. But the show would not be any detriment to you if you didn't bring it upon yourself to go on Tasha K and tell people that you was this side chick. You put yourself out in the public. No one said anything about you. Had you just sat there and been a side bitch in peace, we wouldn't even be having this conversation right now. But we're having a conversation because you're mad. Don't you know that when you're messing with a reality star and you put your, in a married reality star out there, let's, let, let's take it back. Don't you know that when you're messing with a, rea a married reality star and you come out and you say that you're the side chick for this man. And you say that um, this is what it gives. I'm the side chick. I'm the one who did this for him. I'm the one who did that. I'm the one that was sitting on his face and sending him back home. You said that, right? You said that, my nigga. You said that. So my thing about this is, while you're mad at everybody else for reporting on you, be mad at yourself for putting yourself out there. It sounds like you have a lot of regret about the way you played this game, and that's okay. You can you you really need to own up to the fact that you're not okay with the way you did this, and that's and that's fine. Just <coughs> just own up to your shit. Just own up to the fact that you know you did what you did. You put yourself out there, and you put yourself out there, and that's just what it is. You put yourself out there. You made yourself a target. No one made you a target but yourself, Ariane. You did that. You blocking bloggers. You don't want nobody saying nothing to you. One minute you dragging Funky Donnie, but then the next minute you looking for an interview from him. Like, girl, what's tea? What's the real gag? Because I'm not one to judge nobody. At all. I've had my moments where I probably had feelings for somebody else's boyfriend or something like that. That happened to me in the past, but I didn't glorify that. It was wrong. What the fuck? I look like glorifying some shit that's, that's, that's unacceptable. <laughs> what I look like doing it. It's unacceptable. There's nothing to glorify. You glorify being a side chick. You did that. And now you want to be mad because you're being held accountable for it. Girl, grow up. Girl, grow up. Grow up and keep and, and suck a dick like you've been doing when it came down to Martell. You keep doing that. Period. You just mad because karma is eating your ass up. The same way Martell was eating your ass, karma eating your ass the same damn way, but more, but more lethal than he ever could. Karma's tongue is way deeper than Martell's. Period. Point blank, okay? Karma is fucking you better than Martell ever could. And that's just real shit. And you can't and you can't handle it. And that's okay. A lot of us can't handle our karma. Period. <clears throat> when we do wrong, we gotta we gotta face karma. We all gotta answer to something. So with that being said, you guys, this be your boy Scotty. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, do whatever you see fit. Click the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. Also, if you want to follow me on any form of social media, be sure to follow me on Twitter and my and Instagram. It will be down below. And also, I just joined TikTok as of yesterday, and my TikTok is my YouTube name, which is Scotty by Nature TV. So go over here, go over there, and follow me on TikTok. Follow me on, t on Twitter and, and Instagram as well. With that being said, y'all, your boy's out of here until my next video. I will holler at you good people later, y'all. Peace out.